further ado, we'll sh start shortly. I think there might be a little pause of silence, and then um, we'll start with the processional hymn. And hopefully, you've all got a service sheet which was on your seats when you arrived. And the first hymn will be Crown Her with Many Crowns. So, a moment of silence, and then we'll be underway. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome everybody, it's fantastic to have you here. As Dean Lawrence said, it's always very special, it's at the core of who we are as a school and a community to be gathered here um, in our spiritual home. Um, on Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, I was up in Wellington at Independent Schools Conference, very rewarding time, um, and I know that Mr Shaughnessy's heading off to Australia for a conference uh, this week as well, um, and it's wonderful to be able to welcome back uh, Bishop Peter and Chaplain Teresa from the Lambeth Conference, which the very first one was in 1867, and is for all bishops across the Anglican Communion, and is an international event, and it's normally every 10 years, but it's actually been 14 since the last one, so truly wonderful to have Bishop Peter and Chaplain Teresa there representing um, us at that event, and to be able to be a part of that, and 
more importantly, wonderful to have you both home safely, and I hope that you cherish the time that you had there and also the time that you had to connect with some family and friends. Um, please enjoy the service. It's lovely to have you here. Kia to kia koto to atafai me te rangi marie o te atua. Ko te rā tene e hanga e ihoa. Love one another, for love is of God, and whoever loves is born of God and knows God. Let us in silence remember our need of God's forgiveness. In God there is forgiveness. Loving and all-seeing God, forgive us where we have failed to support one another and to be the people we claim to be. Forgive us where we have failed to serve you and where our thoughts and actions have been contrary to yours. We ask your pardon. God, who pardons all who truly repent, forgive you your sins, strengthen you by the Holy Spirit, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, grant us grace to receive you without resistance, fear, or pride that we might fully know that we are your people. May we truly love not only our friends, but also our enemies, following the commandment of love. Through Jesus Christ, our liberator, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
O come, let us sing to the Lord. We sing to you, O God, and bless your name. We proclaim your glory to the nations. Reading from Deuteronomy chapter 30, beginning at verse 10. When you obey the Lord your God by observing his commandments and decrees that are written in this book of law, because you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Surely, this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too hard for you, nor is it too far away. It is not in heaven that you should say, who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it. Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it. No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church.
A reading from Luke, chapter 10, beginning at verse 30. Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers, who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan while traveling came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers, he said. The one who showed him mercy, Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Welcome once again to the Transitional Cathedral this evening. Great music, wonderful singing, and lovely to have everyone here. Um, I enjoy reading books, and I hope you do too. One book I'm a fan of is called Desmond and the Very Mean Word. It's this book here. So I'm going to read um, excerpts from it, because I think we could all learn quite a bit from it. The story begins when Desmond gets a new bike. He couldn't wait to show it to his friend, who was the vicar in the local parish. His name was Father Trevor. As he sped down the road, he admired the bike's shiny black frame. It was beautiful, a work of art. When he turned the corner, he saw a gang of boys, and they saw him. They stepped on the road and blocked his path. He didn't dare stop. What if they took his bike? So he gripped the handlebar, and pedalled as hard as he could and raced as fast as he could toward the boys. The boys all scattered out of the way, but the tallest one shouted out a very mean word. The other boys laughed and shouted the mean word again and again. Desmond's heart pounded and his chest ached. He pedalled away as fast as he could. When he arrived at Father Trevor's place, his teeth were clenched and he threw down his bike because that very mean word kept repeating over and over in his head. What's wrong? asked Father Trevor. Nothing, said Desmond. You can tell me anything, said Father Trevor. Well, some boys shouted a very mean word at me, said Desmond. I'm sorry that happened, Father Trevor said. They hurt your feelings, didn't they? Desmond nodded. Can you forgive them? Father Trevor asked. No, never, said Desmond. I will get them back. That's the problem, Desmond. You will get them back and they will get you back and soon your whole world will be filled with nothing but getting back. So that night, Desmond lay in bed, struggling to sleep. He tried to read his comic book but all he could see was the mean word written over and over again. The next day was the same. He couldn't leave the mean word behind. It followed him around like a shadow in the sun. And when he saw the boys again, he shouted the meanest word he could, that he could think of at them. Once he'd done that, at first he felt very proud, but then he began to feel something else. The mean word had left a bitter taste in his mouth. Desmond went back to see his friend, Father Trevor. The problem when people say mean words to us is they make us feel ashamed of who we are and make us feel less lovable, said Father Trevor. But it's not true. Everything we do matters. When we hurt someone, it hurts us too. Well, that night, Father Trevor came to see Desmond's parents and then he spoke again with Desmond. Still thinking about the mean word, he asked. Desmond nodded. Our hearts are fragile and easily hurt. 
That's why we are given a way to heal them. It's like magic. It's called forgiveness. How can I forgive them? They haven't said sorry. I'm not ready to forgive them, said Desmond. That's fine, Desmond. Only you will know when you're ready. But let me tell you a secret. When you forgive someone, you free yourself from what they have said or done. That moment, the moment when Desmond forgave the other boy came, when they met by chance in an ice cream shop, shops full of yummy ice creams and lollies and chocolates and all sorts of things, and thinking of the wean word he had shouted at the boy, Desmond blurted out, I'm sorry for what I did. The other boy was stunned, speechless. Desmond didn't need the other boy to apologise. I forgive you, said Desmond. As soon as the words were out of his mouth, Desmond felt a little stronger and a little braver, and he stood taller. And when he pedalled home, he went fast, not out of fear, but because of sheer joy. Slowly he spread out his arms as if he were flying. At last he knew what it was like to be free. Now that story is a true story. Desmond became the Archbishop of Cape Town and one of the people who helped South Africa heal from the wounds of apartheid. His story helps us learn who our neighbours really are. Because today, someone asked Jesus a question about how to enter eternal life, how to get to heaven. And when Jesus asked him what the Bible says about this, the lawyer answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbour as yourself. And then Jesus said, Well, who is our neighbour? And then Jesus told the story that was read by William today, the story of the Good Samaritan, which begins with a man who was beaten up by robbers and left for dead. Two religious leaders, people who should know better, trained to help others in this situation, walk on by and do nothing. But finally, someone from Samaria, people who were hated enemies of the people Jesus was speaking to, came and helped. And Jesus asks, which of these three was a neighbour to the man attacked by the robbers? And the lawyer said, the one who helped him. So Jesus teaches us to love our neighbour. If you're not sure who your neighbour is, just remember Desmond. He learned that God doesn't care if we're rich or poor or about the colour of our skin or whether we are young or old. God smiles at everyone and wants us to know that everyone is our neighbour. A couple of test questions. Are the people of Africa our neighbour? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Do you want to say that a bit louder? Are the people of Africa our neighbour? Yes. yes. Are the Australians our neighbours? Yes. yes. Are the people at school our neighbours? Yes. yes, they are. Our neighbours are neighbour no matter who they are or where they come from. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to love you with all our hearts. And help us to love our neighbour as ourselves. Amen. Let's stand to affirm our faith by saying together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father.
of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ, you promise to hear us when we pray to you in faith with thanksgiving. We pray for another, for our families and friends, through whom we learn to love and to be loved. Thank you for all who care for us. Give us grace to serve Christ by serving our neighbours and our community, loving others as he loved us. Ita Araki. We thank you for the unfailing love you hold out to everyone in Jesus Christ. Comfort and heal those in sorrow, need, sickness, or in any other trouble. Give them courage and hope in their distress, and bless those who minister to them. Eta Araki. We remember with gratitude your many gifts to us in creation and the rich heritage of these islands. Help us and people everywhere to share with justice and peace the resources of the earth. Give wisdom to those in authority among us and to, and to all leaders of the nations. Eta Araki. We pray for your church throughout the world, thanking you for all who serve Christ and his kingdom. By your spirit, strengthen your people for their work and witness in the world. Unite us in your truth and love, that we who confess your name may also reflect your glory. Ia te reiki. Let us pray together the school prayer. O oh Lord God, when you give to your servants any great task to do, grant us also to know that it is not the beginning, but the continuing of this task until it is thoroughly finished, which yields us the true glory, through him that for the finishing of your work laid down his life, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Kua akono ne tato e to tato uriki ka inoi tato e to mato na to itirangi ke tapu to ingoa ke tai mai to ringa tira tanga ke mea te ta e pai ai ke ronga ki te penua ke riti ano ki to tirangi o mai ke mato ai nei e taro ma mato mo tinera muru o mato hara me mato hoki. stand for the blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you this night and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>
mare e ronga e te rangi mare ai e ronga e te aroha me te nako he hiko ke te mahi ke te areki amen ai ka haere mato i ronga e te ingoa o te karate